Okay, so welcome back, and we are back underway. As you can see, I've uh, started to channel out. The caravan is just about to leave. There's a bit of blood around here. Nothing to worry about. Slightly spooked animals, and uh, things are back underway. You need to chop that tree down. So what you can see I'm going to be doing is I'm going to channel straight into that uh, river up there. Uh, it's a river that's going to freeze overnight, so that could be a bit of a problem, but we're not too worried about that just at the moment. So, uh, let's since we've had these slight spooks, these thieves coming in, uh, let's set up a burrow. So what a burrow is, is it's an area where you can tell your dwarves to run to. So as you can see on the side here, uh, while we have the, the horsey clippity cloppity noise, um, it's, it's W, make burrows. So we want to add a new burrow, uh, and this is pretty straightforward. Uh, so all we want to do is define the burrow, so you press enter. Um, we can change the name of it to start with, so let's change the name to civilians. Uh, yeah, it just says civilians. So that's the name of it. Uh, and then you can just mark the area where you want it. Well, I want it simply all inside my base, which is just going to be about there. So if we go down, and we're just going to go down, deep down, let's just say go down to the bottom there, and then press enter. So immediately you can see all of this area, this territory, has been now marked off. It's all flashing. It's funny, sort of shady colour. Uh, and that simply basically said, your civilians are allowed to use all of this territory. Uh, I don't think the sound wave seems really loud in my ear for some reason, but anyway. Um, and as you can see, that's where I just I want them all to just use that territory, which is great. So now I've got an area where I can tell them to run to. So if we're done, I'm going to say, fine, that's done. And what that does is say... Uh, some orcs or dwarves or whatever comes along. Some not gonna be dwarves attacking, is it? Oh wait, it might be. I could piss off the dwarves, maybe. Um, so say these ravens are like killer bees or something. I don't know, killer dragons, anything. I basically go to the military status screen, uh, which is the M and the alerts, which is A, and then I change it to this civilians. It's mark it there. You get the a there that come up saying it's active and that would tell all your civilians basically don't go outside the area uh, this is th this is not safe territory but uh, as it is at the moment I'll leave it as is uh, we'll go more into that when uh, you'll probably see a siege happen later on or something like that uh, and we'll have to use that but basically that would make sure that my dwarves don't go outside of this territory they'll stick inside here they'll all be safe and sound we'll pull the drawbridge up uh, and I did actually make it a drawbridge didn't I I'm intrigued as to which way that's going to go up. In fact, let's test that theory because we first we want to make a hotkey down here as well. So we're bound at our main meeting hall. We want to mark, mark a hotkey so we can get down here quickly instead of me having to zip up and down these levels like that. Let's mark a hotkey because we've got a lever in the corner here. So it's capital H for hotkeys. And as you can see, you've got a list of the hotkeys. So simply press F2. That's all I'm going to do. And that's going to highlight the F2. Uh, I'm going to change it and say... Uh, Meet hall. Call it a meeting hall. I don't think meeting hall quite fits. And then press Z, and then it's going to zoom there. So now if I do F1, it goes to the top. I escape out of that. F1 goes to the top. F2 goes down to the meeting hall. F1 to the top. F2 to the meeting hall. So let's just get someone to pull this lever. So to pull a lever, you highlight over it. I'm using Q, and you press A for the add task, and it's capital P. You can see it down the bottom here. Capital P. Pull the lever. There we go. We're going to get someone to come along, pull that lever. And that is going to pull the bridge up. Oh, and wow, I've done it perfect timing just to piss the traders off. Let's let's knock it straight back down. So I was just checking that that definitely was uh, the right thing. And then you can see they're going to pull the lever and it will go back down. And then the, they'll all go back out the door. So brilliant. So there is the... Uh, hopefully that was not going to completely break the traders. They will go now. Yeah, they're going in the wagons. I'm actually digging out. So I could do with building another bridge over here at some point. That's the plan, anyway. I'm going to be interested to see which way these guys go. The bridge is... The, the river's completely frozen. Yeah, they're just going to go straight over the river. So they're going over a frozen river. All good for them. So what have they left here? There's a cage here. I don't know what it is. It looks like a cage, but it just says snow-covered, dense ryegrass. Don't know what that is. View it. There's nothing live in it, is there? There's a hen. Did I buy the hen? I did. I must have bought the hen. Can't remember buying that. Can't remember how the trade all went though. It, the trade went badly, as far as I'm aware. Uh, let's go throw some walls down here. Why the hell not? Do we get rid of that body? 
Why is that body still there? Not sure why that body's still lying there. That should be taken down. I guess it's on the one of the lowest priorities, but it's, it's less than ideal for have all my dwarves walking past the body. And as you can see, I want to fill this in because uh, you can see all the guys are just strolling on past this this bloody thing now. And unfortunately, I've told them to chop a few too many trees down. I think. What is that? That's like a lemur or something running around. Yeah, I've said the, the my woodsman's going on a mission. I've told him to chop half the world down. Um, so. We get into that stage, if we look at Dwarf Therapist, and see what we've got going on. Let's read the dwarves. I thought so, there were two hammer dwarves on here that showed up on the bottom of it. I thought, there's no way I've got those two. I didn't even remember the migrant wave coming in. Um, and, ah, good, that is now no longer rotten. Yeah, it's now wild boar hoofs. So the miasma's gone from that, uh, and possibly even been chopped up. I think it was too rotten the meat was, though. Yeah, so we've got loads of loads of drink, loads of plants, loads of fish for looks fit, plenty of stocks. So things are going well. We haven't got a kitchen built yet, um, but I don't think we've got any fat yet either. No, we've got no fat, so there's no reason for that. Uh, the kitchen will render the fat, which is all good. Um, so, what point are we at? What I could start doing is I could, I could go two ways. I could get the military in the way, or I could get the metal industry started. Um, I'm tempted to get the metal industry of some form up and running, maybe. Hmm. What do we think? Yeah, let's get let's let's just do a metal. I mean, I've really not got that many dwarves, so I've only got sixteen. So it's a, it's a case of not getting the metal industry going. It's just sort of uh, putting it in place. Uh, there's no point in doing the military because I haven't really got enough dwarves to go military-wise on yet. Um, although I could just set up for it, but I could I could dig out the areas, no problems. So what we're going to do, we want to build a furnace, because the first thing we need is a furnace, which is B and E. E and a wood furnace we need, because we need to make charcoal. Uh, this is the reason I've told my guys to go out and chop loads of trees down. Uh, so I'm going to put two wood furnaces in here, and I'm also going to make another stockpile for wood, because this is going to be, until we find magma, which is going to be a while on. I'm not. I'm not rushing down to magma. Some people do rush down to it. That's great. You know, each to your own. Uh, whatever way you like to do it. Um, for now, I'm going to play it safe. I'm only doing a let's play for uh, basic. So we also want a smelter, which is again is. Sorry, I'm skipping along doing it. A B and an E, and we want the smelter, which is S. So B E S is a smelter. So we want probably do two smelters as well. Why not? And we'll put the two smelters there. Uh, and the stockpile I want for this is actually bars and blocks. And uh, in two places. So I want bars and blocks here. And I also want stone. But I only want metal stone here. So we'll use two areas there. So let's do first query on this. Which is S. Change the settings. We don't want. We only want metal ores. And economic ores would be nice. Um, I don't think I've got any around here yet. Uh, I don't want other stones, so I'm going to forbid that, and I don't want clay. So that's fine. So we've got those two. We've got economic ores, which I don't think I've got any of those just yet. I've not covered any. Uh, and the metals. So that's fine. We're going to get the metals there. And in here, we only want bars and blocks. And again, we want so similar type of thing. We only want metal bars. We don't want... Uh, I, well, no, I tell a lie. I don't want metal bars. I only want coal. Effectively, I don't even want potash. I don't want ash, I don't want pearl, I don't want soap. I just purely want coal bars here. Um, don't want stone, don't want blocks, don't want nothing. Just want coal bars there. So that's... The coal is going to get made here. The charcoal, so I should say. That's a good point. Make sure... I think it still picks it up, even though I've got it as coal. Charcoal. Just go there. Same thing. Different name. Yes. Pretty sure about that one. Um, we'll soon see when we get it going. Uh, so let's also dig these rooms out. What is this stone that's sat here? I can see glistening on me. Bismuthonite. Bismuthonite. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Let's have a look at what bismuthonite is. So, let's get over to Dwarf Wiki. Let's pull him over here as well, so you guys can see it as well. And we're going to go bismuthonite. Easy for me to type. Uh, it is a bronze. Bis bismuth bronze. Of course it is. Bismuth bronze. Uh, it's in small clusters, blah, blah, blah. So we've got quite a bit of bronze we can use. 
Excellent. So, our guys are probably digging out this channel. They have dug out the channel. What is going on with those birds? A couple of ravens going mental. I think it's safe to say I could remove... I could channel that out, to be honest. Oh, H. Actually, want to remove the down. Remove the down channel. I'm just realizing what I'm doing here. Want to remove this down channel here as well. I'm relying on it staying frozen. Of course, if I'm starting to do that, I've got to be careful with this. This is, this is probably a little bit dangerous. What I'm going to do. Um, so let's go down to our metal industry. I'm sure we've probably got a few doors we can build for these guys, yeah. So, down to the metal industry. So, you can see they're starting to bring the wood down, they're starting to bring, uh, slowly bring, It's not. this is not the FPS slowdown, or the FPS hasn't slowed down, hasn't really begun yet, they're bringing the metal down. Metal bars are heavy. You can start to make wheelbarrows. I'm not sure where I make them. This is, this is all new to me now. Um... Is it? Is it a wooden thing? The wheelbarrow? Yes. Make wooden wheelbarrow. Let's make a couple of them. I don't know how much this is going to confuse things. I've never used wheelbarrows. This is because I am new to 34.11. So this is this is new to me now. This is the very first time I've done this. So I could make a complete balls up of everything. Um, good. He's channeling that out first. So he chose to remove first, which is good. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. It is going to start creating an issue soon. Because how are they going to get around there? They're not going to be able to, are they? Got to think about. I want this. I might build a bridge out the back as well. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Let's make another bridge. And I'm going to put it there, and we want it raising upwards. So it go to there. It raises that way. So we're going to have that out the back, made of granite. Which I'm running out of. And I'm going to link that exactly the same. And then I could also deal with a bridge over that bit. Uh, so we could build another bridge, which is again B and G. This time I want it going over there, and we want it to raise X. Raises downwards. Just double check. Yes, it is. Good. And we're going to have that there. I'm going to make that out of granite as well. <coughs> so you can see what I'm doing, I think. I think you hopefully can. Uh, why is the horse fighting? Oh, good lord. Okay, they are running out of food, is why they're fighting. So we are going to make them a new area. Let's move the horses into that area there because it's gone cold and there's no pasture uh, for the guys. I'm going to move the rooster into there as well. Unfortunately, everybody's pretty busy at the moment. Everyone's tied up because I've told them to all do all this uh, this this wood. They're, they're, they're doing the wood down here and, and the stone. You can see they're all busy tied up doing the wood and the stone at the moment. Uh, these haven't been built yet because we haven't got a furnace operator. So let's pause that. Let's just read the dwarves. So what we need is wood burning, which is this skill here. So on, honestly, I have a lot of people doing wood burning. Um, as many as I think are useless skills. Um, that guy's kind of hunting, so he's kind of useful. In fact, he's my only hunter, so I'll have him keep him doing that. And I'll also have them as furnace operators, which means they're going to smelt as well. And then we're going to commit them changes. So that will have committed it to the game. Always pause it when you're doing the commits. Um, I don't know if that's just a simple rule of thumb or something that was a long around ago, but I seem to that seems to stick in my head is that you always have to pause it. Um, so I always do that from now on, just to make sure. I probably shouldn't channel that out, but I have done already. I assume. 
horse combat has stopped. Now I've moved them down to a, a nicer patch of ground. So, we hopefully we'll have the metal industry. So the metal industry, how does the metal industry work? You're probably wondering, because I've, I've been rambling, but I've not really explained it. So, first thing you need is you need a fuel. So to get the fuel, you need in, in this furnace, which I'm building here, which is wood burning, which is going to create the charcoal. So you'll get the charcoal bars, which will go in here, and you've got metal bars. So then, in this smelter, we need to smelt that into metal bars. So you're using two fuel, a fuel and a and a uh, ore to make a bar of some type. In this case, uh, I think I've got hematite here. So in this case, it'd be iron or possibly uh, tetrahydrant. So possibly a magnetite. There's all sorts of different metals here. Why granite is there? I don't know. Uh, and also there's bronze. I think it is. So you can make these bunch of bars once this gets built. So then, you also, if you want to go to the steel route, which is what. I was on about earlier, uh, then you need flux stone and that metal bar, or it happens to be an iron bar, a fuel and a flux stone to make pig iron. So then you, when you've got pig iron, you can make steel. <laughs> it gets it gets pretty complicated. Um, check it out on the dwarf wiki again. It's It explains it all very well there. Um, to make sort of things like silver bars, etc., it's very simple. You obviously tetrahydrant, um, galena, stuff like that. Um, and you'll make the silver bars and then you can just go straight over to uh, your metal smith which we will be building shortly um, which you need a forge for by the way to make it and we have got the forge you'll always start with a forge um, or you should always start with a forge which you can see is there at the moment it's sat ready and waiting to be used uh, and that's that's how we'll move it. I'll, I'll try and, I'll try and work you through it as I as we get to it but that's that's the basic quickest explanation I can think of doing um, at the moment uh, we're just removing the up things. Why have I removed these up parts? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I want to remove them here as well. Uh, this is actually this is this is very very dangerous. What I've done here now. This is this is frozen lake. This is river. This is going to be a, a seven, and this is just going to pour down, pour down here as soon as this unfreezes. This complete area will get absolutely saturated. So. Very, very dangerous what I've just done here, so I wouldn't advise doing this. I'm only doing it because I'm pretty sure uh, the frozen season will stay longer. These guys might get drowned. So what I should be doing... Uh, that tree has still not been knocked down. That's going to annoy the crap out of me having that tree there. Um, but there's nothing I can do. But if you have an upslope, obviously the things that can swim could go to the upslope, and then they could um, come up against the wall, and maybe even if they're building destroyers, try and knock things down. But... Um, we don't think we really need to worry about that. We're not anywhere near a, a stage of mega beasts when they were coming along. So things are. Thing I'm. I'm kind of nervous to babysit this. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be careful and make sure I don't cock this up. Uh, but my guy needs to dig that out. He's already dug that. That's fine as long as he removes that bit. So let's 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 zone this off so they don't go and drown themselves when this comes out. Now, if I recall, we can do, I think it's H, is it, the hauling path? I'm trying to try remember how I did this before. Um, remove route, stop, sign vehicle, that's not what I wanted. I want to tell them to stop using this. Is it capital N? I'm not sure. place. I'm not 100% sure. I want to... It's people that are watching, you can tell me. It's... it's. How do I prevent them using a path? I've got a feeling it's... It's not zones. Zones is zones is different. I, I'm actually going to have to look at one of my old videos. I, I can't remember where I did it. This is how long since I played it. But you can use a, a key to basically tell it where, where where to go and where not to go. So what have we got here? We've got uh, a hen and a rooster. Fantastic. Uh, are they both set there? Yes they are. So we can get some, some eggs on the go shortly as well. Anyway, 
I'm, I'm completely getting distracted here because what I was going to show you is the metal industry and unfortunately it's taken a while to build as is always the case in this game it does things do take a little while so what we want to do here build a workshop BW and we want a metal smith's forge which is F and we're going to throw that out the back there and we need an iron anvil like I said you need an anvil to build it and we're going to make it out of granite that's fine and there we go so what we're in now is a storage area this time uh, we want it for technically metal bars and blocks so I'm going to use the entire area here um, no I'm not no I'm not I'm going to remove that I'm going to remove the designation of that that half there because I need that as bars and blocks and I need that as charcoal so because I need again you need a fuel you need a actual metric fuck ton of charcoal uh, which is why people immediately say get down to a magma forge as soon as possible because you, you can use magma instead of a fuel instead of basically carving out the entire forest so if you've not started with any wood uh, you either need to get the magma really quick or you need to get to a cavern and start getting the wood from the caverns but of okay, course as soon as you go into the cavern you run the danger of hitting enemy creatures in which case you're in fun times uh, so we're going to have metal bars there. Uh, I'm not going to have blocks, I'm just going to have metal bars. So that's fine. So that's metal bars, which means this one is going to be the fuel. So we just want charcoal in this one. We don't want any of these items because they can get filled up as well. We just purely want coal in there. So that's going to be the metal industry um, in, its, in its roughest form possible uh, from the start. As soon as things get built, of course. Uh, right, and I'm seeing bins, and I think that's actually what we need to build. We need a bunch of bins. Um, but we have built a noble, haven't we? And have these fell out? Has the bookkeeper fell out? He, he wants his office. Did I not assign him his office? Whoops. Sorry, bud. I thought, I thought I'd assigned this guy his office. Obviously didn't. Um, is it the expedition leader? It was the same guy, isn't it? It's the expedition leader. I'll make him his dining room and I'll give him his office and there you go okay so that should have assigned him that yeah so he's going to be happy now so this guy here I actually want to remove uh, as much as possible I did set his settings onto the highest count um, so he's my expedition leader it's the manager though that I want to remove so Olin Tangthodon Olin Tangthodon Olin where are you Olin here he is uh, so I'm going to remove everything off him. I don't want him hauling because this guy's going to be my main manager. So I want this guy available all times. I'm not going to be cleaning either. And you're not even going to feed and dress. You're not going to do anything, anything at all. Uh, so this guy is purely my manager. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want him to be Johnny on the spot. So what I'm going to do now is the management. So press J and then M for manager. You see it down the bottom here? These are all your jobs. This is your job list. You can look and see what's going on. So you can see all these construction buildings, plant the seeds, etc. These are all, this is all queued up, ready ready for jobs to go. And these are your dwarves that have got no job or they're on a break or doing something. This guy is off drinking, which is the guy we're actually after. The, the manager is having a drink at the moment. So then we press M for manager. And this is your now your manager's priority orders. And from now on, from now on only, we're going to use this to build items. So, you can see you've got a few options here. Queue new order, remove, increase priority, max priority. So what do we want? We want a queue because we want some wooden bins. So now all you do is type it. So you say wood bin. And there it is. Wooden bin. Obviously we don't want cabinet. We want a wooden bin. So then you press enter. And you say how many of them do you want? We want 20 of those. There you go. So now he's going to build those. Go out and build those wooden bins. So I'm going to queue. I want a couple of wood bed. I think it's just bed actually. Probably just gets it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and I'll get another 20 of those because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another influx of waves soon. And then this is from now on. You start to just simply create your build orders from here. So we want charcoal. So we're going to make charcoal. We want 30 charcoal. There we go. So these are all just orders that are now. That manager will go out and he'll go to the workshops. Uh, he will try and go to these workshops but they're not built yet. So he can't do them because we're waiting on the architect to come around who ironically I think is probably the same guy if we look on here you can see who the architect is I'm not sure if I'm architect yeah there he is it's actually Limus guys these are Mason he's the only architect but what I will do is we'll make all in the architect that'd be nice and easy oh I did that without pausing it's nasty dangerous territory 
So let's build a couple more doors. We haven't got any doors, so we won't build those. We'll build the cabinet, which actually I think the cabinet's probably needed for in here. Yeah, we've got the salt stone coffer. I'll build another container there. Salt stone coffer. F. We'll throw a cabinet there and there. I'm sure we've got tables. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just mirroring what I've done up there. And then we'll have a chair there. This is for any other officer that I may uh any any other noble that I may acquire. What other nobles do I need? Um Hammerer. Hammerer? That's a new one to me. What does the hammerer do? It hammers things, I'm gonna guess. I don't remember ever seeing a hammerer in there. I'm gonna have to look that one up in Dwarf Wiki. I'll look these things up later. I'm, I'm going to have to make notes of these. So we want, I've got a hammerer. These are notes that I can do while I'm at work. <laughs> and uh, what was the other one? Pathing. It was uh, block pathing, wasn't it? I know you can make a zone where basically they won't walk on, which is obviously how you can, as well as just using burrows, you can define routes that they will not use because, as you can see now, we've stopped snowing. And... If they start walking down here, they're going to suddenly get a very short, sharp shock shortly. Uh, this bridge is underway. Uh, that's where my architect's busy at. He's building this bridge, which is all good. There's also someone taking the stone out to this bridge here, I just noticed. Ah, and there we go. So that bridge is now completed. Uh, I could do a linking out to a separate lever, couldn't I? And this guy's completing this bridge down here. So let's go down to our area. Let's build a different lever. So B and capital T, remember, and L for lever. So if I put it next to it, that's fine. And um, we'll use the stone mechanism again for that one. So we'll link that. That bridge is a separate bridge, so I can have a, a, a double double layer of security. So the idea is I'm going to have uh, a moat here and here, uh, which I could probably just channel out now at some point. It's not really going around. There we go. There we go. Now, God help anyone that happens to be in that river. Luckily, because I've removed this, uh, a lot of them won't do it, because this is the only way out now. And they are going to use that. But it does mean they can also get this side of the river now, which they couldn't do before. They could while it's frozen, but they couldn't do it before. And now they're actually fishing down here, so that's great. So they've got a new area to fish in. And you can see this is st starting to uh, completely come out, and it's going to fill it with 7s. This is probably going to slow the FPS down a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's, it's dropped to 10 FPS while while this just floods out. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Run, man, run. Get out the damn river. Get out the damn river. He might just about get it. Dangerous terrain. Yeah, no kidding, mate. You're going to have to get out. There we go. Why did he go down there? It's because it's still only one there, so he could technically walk over that bit. Stupid idiot. I bet he's not happy with that either, is he? Let's have a look at him. I bet, he's, I bet he's having a grump. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at him. I don't want to look at that. I want to look at his status. His thoughts and preferences. Uh, he's been happy lately. Okay. Oh, good lord. I didn't want her to die. That's that's one of my main ones. That's usually actually married to my manager. And that is one of my one of my nobles, isn't it? That's my book. No, it's my broker. That wasn't. That's my broker. Yeah, I didn't want her to die. Good lord. So now we're slow, slowly seeing it. It's filling out. Um, there is no way in at the moment this way. This bridge has not been completed. Um, but you can see how it's, it's starting to lay out. That guy's starting to get fish there. Right. Good start. I just saw him coming in. So he's going to walk in. He's just stuck that rotten bit of fish in there. Some raw mussels. And then we need a fish, fishery guy will come along and do that. Skunk is fighting. Ah, right. Because we've opened it up for our uh, hunter. That is our hunter, I believe. Yeah. Fighting a skunk. Dangerous, dangerous stuff. So you can see the water slowly pouring in, slowing things down as it goes. So we've now also built this lever, so we want to add a task to this lever here. We're going to link it to a bridge. And we don't want to link it to that one. We want to link it to that one there. There's just plus and minus to go up and down the bridges there. Uh, so we want to link that to that bridge. And we're going to use two silt stone mechanisms. Excellent. Things are starting to go as I planned, but they're going a little bit slower than I planned. I had got uh, the boroughs which I showed you. I had planned for barracks and danger room in the metal industry, but as is always the case, 
<coughs> things do take a little bit longer. Why is there looking like they're blood in that water? Why is that gone all red? Not sure. Not sure why things have gone red there. Why did that all go red there? I don't know. Kind of worrying. As long as it wasn't someone that drowned, I don't mind. Ah, he's just brought the skunk down. Just seen him. Is he should take that straight to the butcher. Yes, he does. Skunk's been put. Uh, someone's having a party. So now the butcher should come along and uh, work on that as well. So there's a skunk in there, ready and waiting to be chopped up, which will give us some more meat. This is what we want. Uh, and this now, actually, I can show you this. Uh, the exported wealth and the imported wealth. This is the the cost imported. Obviously, is what we brought with this exported wealth. Once this this created wealth here starts getting higher and higher, that's when you start running the dangers of of sieges, etc. You'll start getting the attention uh, of all sorts of things. If we look at our job management, actually, I can see these bins are being made. You can see it's down to four or twenty. Same as the charcoal. So people are already s smelting that charcoal down below. You can see he's making the bins here. Uh, he's just another fisherman just brought in some fish there. Uh, this guy's making the bins, taking the bins down to here, that uh, goods store. And if we go down now to the area, we can see charcoals are also being made. So charcoal starting to be stored here as well. So they're starting to use the charcoal. So it's all going very nicely. Things are starting to actually work, which is interesting. It's always good when the economy starts to work. There's a great owl flying around at the moment. I'm interested why that body hasn't been shifted. Uh, oh, and now my fisherman is actually using this to fish. So he's fishing directly out of my moat. Which is nice. I wish I'd have taken down the down ramps here because that's kind of annoying, isn't it? I'm sure, p other people always used to kick into that, but <sighs> hey ho. That bridge is just waiting for the final link. Uh, and there we go, he's just picked up the barrel and he's just taking that down there. So we've also got the wheelbarrows probably built, so the wheelbarrows have already been completed. So I'll maybe start using them in the next episode. But that's it for now. So a little bit of research for me to do, and maybe you guys as well, is to check out what the hammerer does and what the block pathing. I don't really need to block the pathing now. Well, actually, yes, I do. Because this moat here is actually not that great. Because it's going to freeze over, isn't it? In which case, they'll be able to walk up and beat on my door. So I need some more defenses as well. There's something else to think about later on. Uh, how to deal with that. So there's a couple of food for thought as we finish this episode. This is a lunchtime during my work, so that's why I've done it. Uh, and I'll upload this one straight away.